Rosacea or acne? Two very similar diseases, but with two very different treatments. To get them treated, you have to know which one you have. Well, no need to worry. <coughs> what the hell? Well, today we are here to tell you the differences between these two very similar diseases. Hey guys, my name is Baha and I'm excited about sharing my personal experiences and knowledge about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you too can be a part of our community. Acne can be caused by multiple reasons. For example, ingrown hairs, too much oil production, or excessive skin shedding, followed by acne causing bacteria. If you want to know more about different types of acne, I have talked about it before in another video. I will link it down below in the description box if you want to check it out. Also, acne is more common in teenagers and young adults that have oily skin. It can also be seen on different parts of the body, including the face, neck, chest, your back, shoulders, and even your upper arms. Acne may not be a life-threatening condition, but it can have extreme negative effects mentally and emotionally on a person. Rosacea, on the other hand, is an inflammatory disease of the face that can also affect the eye area. It is mostly seen in women from ages of 25 to 55, but it can also be seen in men. Rosacea starts with acne-like bumps on the face and can be hidden until it is triggered by something like stress or any other products that can cause irritation to the skin. People with rosacea tend to have more sensitivity and, well, redness in their face, which can cause, well, more problems and less opportunities for them to use skincare products. They have to be more careful and they have to take better care of their skin. Different people can have different symptoms, different kinds or different severities of rosacea. Rosacea is, well, it, the symptoms of rosacea are redness, acne-like bumps that are red in the color, bloodshot swollen eyes and also visible blood vessels on your cheeks and on your nose. It is also thought that rosacea can have a genetic component because it can also be seen in families. Now, we have four different types of rosacea. Let's get into that and see what they are. The first type of rosacea that I want to talk about is the most common and it's called erythematolangiatic. I cannot pronounce this for the life of me. Okay. This type of rosacea is actually mostly common in middle-aged women where they tend to flush and get red easier than other people and they have visible blood vessels on their cheeks and on their nose. Next type is populopustular rosacea. This type of rosacea actually starts with the person getting red and blushing easier than other people and then having acne like bumps on their face which can take a long time before they actually go away. Next, rhinophema. This chronic type of acne rosacea is caused when it gets chronic and it can cause a, dis a disability called as rhinophema, which in some people can actually make their nose bigger due to how the excess tissue on their nose or in the nearby structures such as your nasal passages or your sinuses have been formed. This type of rosacea is actually more noticeable in adulthood and if it gets way too severe, it can actually affect your eye area. So be careful with that. Fourth and most severe type of rosacea, ocular rosacea. Now, this can get so severe that it can actually even affect your eye area. It can, with the inflammation, it can cause damage to your cornea and conjunctiva, which is basically the part of your eye that produces the mucus and, well, prevents from your eye to dry out. So with the inflammation, you can get red eyes, itchy eyes, burning sensations, sensitivity to light, and even your vision can get blurry. Yikes! Now, the most important question, how can I treat my rosacea? 
Unfortunately, there is no 100% treatment for rosacea just yet, but you can control it or make it less severe than it is. Normally, you dermatologists do suggest for you to avoid triggers such as sunlight, hairsprays, or any products that can cause irritation to your skin, stress, or even spicy foods. Or even if you do have rosacea at the moment, they may give you topical treatments to lower the symptoms, to lower the appearance of the symptoms, or if it gets too severe, they may even prescribe you oral antibiotics to help with the symptoms. Even chemical pills or laser treatment can help with lessening the visibility of rosacea symptoms. Now, we talked about one of the triggers is sunlight. So one of the things that you have to keep in mind is when you want to make a skincare routine, you have to 100% have a sunscreen in your routine. It's best to not go under SPF 30, but if you can use a SPF 50, that is the best choice that you can possibly make. Next is when you want to choose other products. It's best to use products that are fragrance free because they can cause irritation. Choosing products that are water-based and non-comogenic so your pores don't get, well, clogged by the product or if you can even find products that are well made for rosacea prone skin that would be the best possible option for you guys because we don't want you to have a skincare routine that will cause your rosacea to break out we want to control it and we want to you to have the best glowy skin that you can possibly have Another question that might be troubling you is, is it possible for me to have rosacea and acne at the same time? Well, don't worry, it's very unlikely to have these two diseases at the same time, but mistaking them for the other is extremely common. So if you don't know which one you have, I do advise you to go see a very experienced dermatologist so they can give you the correct diagnosis and well, obviously a correct treatment plan so you can get it treated or you can at least keep it under control. I hope this video was helpful. If you do think that you are dealing with rosacea, please do see a dermatologist right away so you can have it under control. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video.